What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a full indoor and outdoor mini split maintenance on this system. This is the outdoor condenser. This is the mini split. This is the Mitsubishi unit. Here is the back. Coils are dirty. Here is the indoor head unit. Inside here you can see um, it's like black. So it needs a cleaning in here pretty bad. All right, we're also gonna be installing this mini split UV LED light system for the mini split and then this uh, thermostat for the mini split as well. All right, we shut the system off. Now we're going to pull the disconnect. Right, I'm gonna start off by just blowing all the dirt that's off of it. Summer is coming up, and if you guys need a maintenance, go ahead and give us a call at 951-392-2319. If you're in Southern California, uh, give us a call, and we'll be able to take care of you. Summer is around the corner, so we got to get our systems ready. All right, and for the chemicals, we're going to be using Viper. We're going to be using their foam gun for the outdoor unit, and then their condensing cleaner. This is a concentrate, and it can make nine gallons. Let's get this. We'll be using this stuff for the inside. This condenser isn't super dirty, so we're only gonna use half a cup and then fill the rest with water. All right, we're gonna begin by taking this top off. We have four screws holding this top down. Just like that. Now we got a better view of inside. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flush it from inside out. We got uh, double layered coils. So these are always gonna be a little more difficult to get clean, but if we get enough pressure inside out, we should be good. All right, we're gonna fill it up to water till right here. So this has like a quick release. So you just pull this back, get it in there, and then you're good. Okay, so right here you have different letters. You got A, meaning it'll give you the most foam, and then all the way down to zero, which will give you no foam, and then E, which will give you very little foam. Um, we're gonna go with A. We're gonna test this out, see how that works. I might have put in too much water, but it's foaming up really good down there, but just not on the core. So we're gonna put this on zero. Now it should just be straight water. Try to push all this dirty water. I'm gonna try to push all this dirty water outside. They they do have little holes down there so the water can get through. You just gotta move it around, move it, move the water around. Now back here we always have a gutter down there and it always accumulates dirt, so we're gonna try to get that out. There you go. Right here is where all the electrical components are, so you don't want to get this wet. So I'm just going to use a rag and clean this off. All right, we're going to put the top on, and then we're going to finish cleaning the outside of the condenser. Get all this dirt off of it. Putting this top off so that the water doesn't get to the electrical components. Alright, 
she's all nice and clean now. Just looking good. Just gonna need some new insulation for sure. We'll get that taken care of. All right, we're gonna let this dry off and then we'll start kicking it on. We'll check um, everything else for the maintenance. Now we're gonna start on the inside of the head and start doing the maintenance for that. All right, for the inside head unit, we're going to use some Viper coil cleaner and this is a no rinse cleaner. We got a lot of oil and dust. See, all this is oil and dust. Those screws out. Should be able to get this whole plastic head unit, head piece off. We're gonna take this whole um, fin off. Super easy. We just pull these this tab right here to the right. Tab to the right. There's three of them. Just get it out. <laughs> There's one here too. There's a flap. Flip this up. Two screws right here. You can see how dirty it is up here, but these latches are right here, right here, and right here. They're basically holding um, this top piece. So we gotta unlatch them. This one's already unlatched. Now we gotta get this one unlatched. Then we have the display for the mini split. And we're going to feed it back through so we can take this entire thing off. Now, okay. Let this off. A pretty caked up blower wheel. All around here is dirty. Vacuum all that. And then, uh, Coil is pretty dirty. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. So we're gonna get a good cleaning on this. We're gonna clean all this out too, because this could have been clogging. Oh, it's flaky. All right, to get this blower wheel out, we gotta undo these two screws. We're gonna use some Viper wipes. To get this all off of me. As you can see right here, we have a set screw that connects the blower wheel to the blower motor. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and undo that. And now we have some clay. When we pop up the coil, we have a gasket right here. Um, you basically gotta get this off. <clears throat> there slide it off all right so here's inside the coil it's not it's not bad at all inside it's just the surface of it but in here it's bad right here but up here you can see a lot of grease so we're gonna get this situated get it all cleaned out um i'll show you guys after all right we're gonna be using viper's coil cleaner this is a no rinse coil cleaner don't worry guys, I put a big sheet of plastic as a drop cloth. I need to get that mini split cleaner kit. All right, we're gonna vacuum all the stuff on the wall. Alright, so these Viper wipes gets out grease and oil, so I'm gonna use it uh, for that up there. Oh yeah, 
that's perfect. That's perfect. Just using this viper wipe, wipe off all the dirt and grease that they bring. This is the drain pan. Alright guys, so we're going to start by washing down the filter, the boil wheel, the main spit cover, <coughs> and the bins. Uh, we'll start with the filters though. This disinfecting spray kills 99.9% .9 germs and bacteria. So I'm going to spray it on here. Got a juice filled up on the top right here. All right, got this all nice and clean. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the blower wheel in and then put this all in. Put it in the shaft. And you put the, put the gasket in this shaft. Get through. Tight. In. All right, now we're going to be installing this UV LED light system. Here is the driver. Here is a switch, and then here is the actual LED light. Some zip ties and a caution sign sticker. This should go. this so the driver connects to the switch the LED strip connects to the switch and there we go this gets tied into here our white one is going to be our neutral so it's going to be number two we're going to cut some off to make this a C-clamp. From an O-clamp to a C-clamp. Okay. Now we can slide this in. Our hot, which is black. For our black wire, then slide this in there. Then tighten her up. I'll feed this through here. Let's get this. We're gonna peel the adhesive off the LED strip. I'm gonna set it in place. I'm gonna center it. this get it all now we connect this right here all right i'm 
I'm gonna drill a 7 8 hole for the switch. Perfect. All right, we're gonna put the disconnect in. All right, and with the switch, you should turn the UV light on. Awesome. see right there there's the UV light all right let's put these filters back in and we'll clean them as good as we can I'm getting some new ones on the way oh, you know what? I'm gonna scrub these. I'm washing these in the sink now and these two I hit and you can see the difference already compared to the black so I'm just scrubbing it with some Dawn soap yeah, I put them in I dried them off with my leaf blower So now we're going to be installing this thermostat instead of just using the remote. All right, this thermostat is by Celo. This is the Celo Breeze Edge Pro for mini splits. Um, so we're going to get this all connected and uh, use it for the mini split. So you can get a transformer and connect this with 24 volts to power it, or you can just use USB-C, connect it to the wall. Uh, let's begin the startup. Um, the rest of it I am going to... Um, screen share on my phone all right i'm gonna walk you guys through the process we're just gonna select the thermostat that we have press continue allow the bluetooth and wi-5 and then it's going to connect to the thermostat you're going to connect to the wi-fi network and then you're going to uh complete the registration this process was super simple okay so now we need our ac remote so we're gonna click next so we're gonna grab a remote point it here and click the power button. Wow, just that simple? Wow, success. No way, okay. So now it's connected to my mini split. Well, it's connected to the remote. All right, so that's pretty awesome. So now we can control it from our phones. That is sick. Okay, now I'm gonna install this where it needs to go. All right, here's the thermostat installed. Um, super simple to use. We got all our options right here. Heat, cool, fan, auto dry. Turn it on heat. This is um, where we adjust our temperature. Super simple. And then right here, we adjust the fan speed and it'll give us our weather forecast right here. We have some home, away, sleep, pet options right here. There's some presets we can use. We can adjust the mini split swing control. We could turn on and off the LED uh, display on the mini split head, make presets, schedules, etc. This thermostat by CeeLo has been super nice. I highly recommend it. But that's the end of this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.